Hello, everybody. Welcome to this channel. I'm Payman Asari. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about dictionary, how to create a dictionary, and how to operate different operations on dictionary. All of them will be covered in this lesson. Dictionary is a collection of key value pair that there is no order in it, and duplicates are not allowed. In order to create a dictionary, we usually have two different ways. The first one is start off with an empty dictionary and add element by element. And in order to do that, we can simply create a empty dictionary using curly bracket and add a pair of key value one by one. Here, I'm going to add Canada as a key and then CA as a value. The next key value pair is United States with the USA. The third one is United Kingdom with UK. And the last one is France with FR. And we, I print this out. This is the result that I get as a dictionary. The second way to create a dictionary is to use a curly bracket with the key value pair. For each key, we write the key followed by a column and then with the value. It should be separated with comma and we can add the next one. The type of dictionary is dict, which stands for dictionary. And in order to get the value of a given key, we can simply write the name of dictionary that we have, a square bracket and give the key and it will return the value of the dictionary. Now let's talk about different methods that we can use on dictionaries in order to do different operations. There are too many methods. Here we will cover some of them. At the end of this video, I will provide you with a list of all methods and attributes and how to use them. The first method that I'm going to talk about is update. Update is used to add or update a value in the dictionary. Here we want to add India as a key and IN as a value. We can use the update method and the term should be in curly bracket. But here, as you can see, we write IN with small n. We can change that with into capital N using update again. And if we do so, then we will get the, we will update the India in key pair value. In order to get the list of all keys of a dictionary, we can use dot keys. And here I'm writing my dictionary dot keys, and I write it as a list. We can also get the values of a dictionary using value method, and it will get us the all values. Or we can get all the items of a dictionary using the items method. And in order to check if there is an item in a dictionary, we can use in operation. For example, here, Canada in my dict, there is Canada in the dictionary that we have, and the result is true, but Brazil is not in our dictionary, and the return is false. To get a specific value of a key value pair, we can use two different ways. One is use the name of the dictionary followed by bracket and given the key or use the get method. And here, as you can see, for the Canada, we use dot get, it gives us the CA. But if there is no the key in our dictionary, it will return the none. However, if we use get, we want to return something else, we can use the change the default value of none to whatever we want to be. And here I'm returning one as a default value. In order to delete a key value pair of a dictionary, we can use del or pop or pop item method. Del can be used in this way. Del, which is a keyword of Python, and then followed by the dictionary name and the key of the dictionary. 
here we delete friends, or we can use pop method and we want to delete India. And as you can see, India in pair is removed. Or we can use pop item. Pop item usually removes the last key pair value of a dictionary. In order to find uh, the length of a dictionary, we can use len attribute and give the dictionary name. It will give us the, the length of dictionary. As you can see, our dictionary now has two items and it returns two. And if we want to clear the old dictionary and have a empty dictionary, we can use clear method. As I mentioned, there are too many methods and attributes for dictionaries. I cover some of them and here is the list of all of them. And in order to know how to use them, we can use the help function to get to know how to use them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.